Snow-capped Coolins tower over the Isle of Skye and its capital, Portree, home of the island's Shinty team, Skye Kamenach. Skye Kamenach were formed in 1892 as the game grew in popularity at the end of the 19th century. Skye's finest hour came in June of 1990 when they won the Kamenach Cup thanks to a 4-1 win over Newton Moore. These are magnificent scenes as Skye lift the Kamenach Cup. Here in Portree today, Sky Kamenach will be hoping to reach their second Ballymore Cup final in five years when they begin their campaign against Inverness. Sky will be hoping to build on their opening day 6-1 victory over the same opponents, but it's sure to be a tough task. Famous for playing in white, Sky played at a number of venues around the island before moving to their current home in 1998 on the outskirts of Portree. Here, our partner in Luch, our field of heroes, as throw-up approaches, the home faithful will certainly be hoping that all heroes are in white today. Shinty itself is a fast-paced game, consisting of 12 players aside. Due to the nature of play, the stick is often used as protection as well as the means in which players play the ball. So important, in fact, that specific moves such as blocks and cleats are often used by players in order to protect themselves. Sky are able to boast a number of promising youngsters, but with this comes a problem when they move away to seek further education. Nevertheless, the youthfulness is vital to Sky's fortunes as they are guided by senior figures such as Gillespie MacDonald and Kenny Campbell. With the game currently standing at 3-1, Sky look a safe bet to be progressing to the next round of the Cup. Having not been at their best this afternoon, it will just be a relief for the Sky boys to get to the next round. The mix of youth and experience paid off with goals from Neil McVicker, Kenny Campbell and Danny Morrison, securing victory for Sky in a ruthless, if not spectacular, performance. Better than last week Absolutely. anyway. After Far the first half performance, week. that's lucky to get a result, I think. It's shocking, to be honest. But yeah. The wind made a big difference, I think. It's, as soon as we got the wind to our backs, it was a lot easier. Really. It wasn't the best of games we've ever played right enough, but last week we didn't really perform and we knew we had to come out today and kind of improve on a couple of weeks nah, ago we played yeah. well against Canusi, but it wasn't a bad performance, but it could have been better. I think, we, I think we made a lot of hard work out of it, to be fair. But we got there, so we'll look forward to the next round. But everyone's just lost their confidence after the last couple of games. But after that, it should hopefully be a wee bit better from now on. You know, we're quite a, quite a young team, and uh, we, 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 had, we had a lot of the pressure, but we were running a bit short of ideas up, up, up front. Uh, which was a bit frustrating, but that's been the case for the last few games with us. But we, we've, we've been trying to persevere with the youngsters, and we have about four 16, 17 year olds in the team, and I think that's what yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll continue to do, and maybe the goals will come. Our, our difficulty has always been uh, the conversion of these under-17 
uh, players into good senior players. We tend to lose a lot of them uh, to, the, to the mainland for further education and, and so on. But, uh, you know, we're, we're actually looking for ones. I mean, I know it's not political correct that are not too, maybe not that academic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> a plumber or a joiner, plumber or a joiner or something like that, you know, so that, so that we can keep them here. Having safely negotiated the passage of the next round of the Ballymore Cup, I think the overriding feeling here in Portree today is one of relief. The Sky Boys will look for a kind draw in the next round, but I'm sure they will be able to face whatever comes their way. All things considered, it appears Shinty on Sky has a strong future, based on a tradition as old as the Coolums themselves. <laughs>